All right, this is our boiling room. It's not super huge. We, uh, our best year, we made a little over 10,000 gallons, 10,300 gallons. We were like a little over seven pounds that year. Um, we fill totes. We use 350 gallon stainless steel totes. And what we do is we take these out of here with a bucket loader, with a payloader with forks. We move these, um, you know, they're about 4,500 pounds when loaded. So you need a real machine to move these. And we bring these back to our farm because this location is really just not a safe place to keep these. Or do we have space? Um, I just want to show you real quick how we wash these tanks. Because I know a lot of people wondering, you know, how do you clean these? Do you get in these? So this is the this is the fill port that they have right here, this two-inch port. Okay? We do not use that. We custom made a system to go in here, in this, in this bung, so that we can fill it completely full. We also built this wash ball system. All stainless steel, obviously. Okay? And we just put that in there and just set that down in that tank. Just like that, all right, so we got, it's on a hose to a quick coupler. Hmm, okay, so how do we make the pressure work? Well, over here, this little design here, which I have yet to see any of these maple companies do, and I'm sure it's coming, um, that's a bourbon barrel sitting there just swelling, ready to be filled. We'll talk more about that in another day. So this tank right here, this collects the water. You just slide open this tank and that water goes right in there. Roll it over there where it belongs. Okay, that's the water from the hood and the preheater. Yes, it does take a while to fill it, but we also have a coil in the stack. That red line right there, you can see it goes up to the stack. We have a coil in the stack so we can, we can run pressurized water through this stack as well and make 200 degree water if we want to fill this. Um, that little hook right there is for a bucket to fill the bucket so the boiler guy's got hot water right off once he starts. Anyways, this tank right here, all custom made by us with a jet pump on the bottom. That is a jet pump washer, wash pump from a bulk tank, a milk tank, all right? We have another port on there. That's to fill a bucket. If you wanna just fill a bucket out of it, real quick, no big deal, you know? Just add a port. We got a waterproof switch right here, turn it on. This is also to wash a floor, wash a bucket. You can pump that into a drum real quickly. You can pump it into a wooden barrel, wash it out real quickly, some hot water. So we just hook that wash wand onto here and we can wash that tote pretty quickly, boost it a couple times, and uh, it's, it's clean. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking about a way to be able to wash things, or what you could do with some of the water, some of your condensate water coming off, this, 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 has, been, this has been a very useful tool. You know, we had what everybody had there once before, we just had a barrel, a barrel with a, you know, with a bung on it, and you just manually open it. Well, obviously that wasn't cutting it with the things we have to wash here. So this is, this is the way to go on that.